it's something I'm always curious about in terms of marketing and how companies attack the market. And so pre-college, you guys are on Kickstarter. Instagram is kind of not really, it's kind of a thing, but not, not, not like it is today, right? And so as you guys think about marketing in today's digital world, specifically on like Instagram, what is the strategy there? I know your Instagram is beautiful. People listening, please go check it out. Super well done. It makes sense. I think it fits with what you're selling, but it's it's also very, it, it, it's clearly thoughtful, at least when I look at it. And so as you guys think about marketing today, is it a lot of influencer stuff? Like, what is it? What is it that you guys are marketing to? Is it Facebook ads to photographers? Is it different Facebook groups? What What is working? Yeah. So it's, it's, it's a blend of all three, as I'm sure a lot of other companies on this podcast talk about sure. as well. First off, Daniel and Rachel are awesome over at Mango Street. Love what they do. Oh, nice, um, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's a, it's a very small community. So it's a very <laughs> like, small community. So we do a couple of things. Since we're bootstrapped, everything always has to perform. So from day one, even back in 2015, before influencer marketing was even really a term, we were still reaching out to people on Instagram, um, just you know, gifting bags, which is an initiative we still do to this day. We prefer to look at a lot of the, the creators we work with as kind of friends of the brand. So whether that's hopping on a call with them or just kind of giving them a bit more creative control, like we'll send them over kind of guides and things like that, but never too, uh, we're never too strict on what they can or cannot post. And then just from there, we uh, work with a lot of contractors and such to uh, keep our Instagram and Facebook ads humming along. So a lot of which are actually past customers, which is really cool. 